first, I'll introduce about the background. China is a very big country with extremely difference of climate and the geographic conditions. Yeah, the, for example, the elevation range there from below zero to over 8,000 meters. It's uh, also a country with different uh, uh, climate, uh, but the, including tropical region and the cold region, and the humid uh, area and the dry area. And also, it's a country with different uh, kind of uh, ecosystems, um, basically covering all kinds of the ecosystems on the earth, including forests, grassland, wetland, cropland, and ecosystem, and so on. So, it's a very huge country and a very diverse um, uh, natural situation. So consider the, this situation, the central government issued a kind of strategy called the main function area strategy. So the total land uh, was divided into four kinds of uh, types. One is optimized development area. Yeah, that's those areas like in Beijing and uh, Shanghai and uh, Guangzhou, those areas, the mega cities. And then we have the uh, key development area, and uh, including such area as Wuhan and, uh, and uh, Chengdu and so on, those cities. So the op optimized development area and the key development area are both urban area. And then we have another one is the agricultural production area. And also we have the ecological function conservation area, we call the FKS area. So uh, the FK area contains about 85% of the entire land in China. So as I mentioned, the, the Ecological function conservation area is the uh, major area that related to the uh, uh, ecological protection. The main purpose of uh, the, this area is to provide the, the ecosystem services and the products. And uh, it's the area related to the national ecological security. So the government uh, takes some kind of uh, uh, policy to protect the importance of uh, ecosystems, including the negatively industry lists according to the dominant ecosystem services. Um, that means, for example, is if one place is a ecological function conservation area with the water conservation and the retention, then the industry, for example, the mining industry or the uh, uh, commercial forest logging is not allowed in those area. And uh, uh, the FK area is also uh, have a high proportion of uh, uh, protected area, we call it the ecological ridden areas. So based on the performance of the uh, ecological protection, the central government have uh, transferred a lot of money to those areas. Um, the total amount of uh, a transfer increased over years. For example, the, uh, in 2010, the total transfer is 24.9 billion renminbi yuan. And uh, to nowadays, last year, uh, 2006, the total amount is, is 62.7 billion yuan. So basically, one county will get 0.1 billion yuan. Yeah. But there are some change, challenges yeah, in this area. First, the current policy are mainly negatively uh, restriction policy, I'll say restriction policy for the industry development. So, and then the second one is the large amount of poor people living in this area. And the limitation amount of financial transfer from the central government, uh, yeah, so cannot solve the problem of the poverty. 
The third one is the ecological protection in Africa's need a, a large a financial input from the local government, local level. So facing this kind of challenges, we need to find another policy yeah, to, uh, for the development of the uh, economy in those areas. So this idea is the uh, value uh, realization of the ecological products. So what do we want to do, I mean, uh, to in the future about this policy? We have some concerns. So first one is uh, we should consider this uh, idea that related to the new five development concepts. These five, can, five development uh, concepts is just the issue that by the central government, including innovation and, and the cooperation, green, open, and sharing. So first, it is innovation, because the realization of the value of eco ecological products is a new theme. New theme. We might have not tested, and they might, some may be success, some may be failure. So, but it's innovation. Another one is cooperation. We need cooperation from the local government, from the uh, uh, research institute, and the, the uh, business company, and also from the local farmers. We need cooperations, and. Uh, most important here is green, yeah. So that means the way of realization of the, the value of eco um, ecological products should be green, will not cause the degradation of its ecosystems and the ecosystem services. And also it's open, that's open to a local level or international level, and also sharing, yeah. So because of we share the uh, ecological products from the nature, and also the uh, value realization of uh, ecological products might be uh, achieved by sharing through the ways of internet, WeChat, or uh, Facebook, and the other ways. And uh, another one is about the main ideas that uh, already showing in the uh, government's document. First one is the establishing the idea of natural capital in the country, not only to the government, but also to the, gov to the local, to the public. They realize the importance of the natural capital. The second one is the ecological products and the services are valuable, and when we use the ecological products and service we need to pay. It's not free. And the third one is the nature conservation is the process of increasing nature value and the natural capitals. It's also protection and the development of productivity. Therefore, it should deserve a large amount of economic composition. And the final one is uh, said by President Xi that North Sea Mountains and the North Sea Waters are golden and silver. So those I mean, ideas are uh, presented in the recently government document. And what we want to do in the future, I think uh, either from the government or either from the uh, researchers, we have something to do. First one is the identification of the range and types of ecological products and services. When we see the ecological products, it's, I mean, not everything is products. I mean, it should be related to the natural existence. And also, it's, it will not I mean, cause the negative impacts on the natural existence and their functions. So that's one we need to identify of the what's the ecological products. The second one is we need to calculation of the ecological assets and the ecosystem services or ecological products. The third one is formulation of models based on the local and the international cases. 
And the fourth one is the formulation of the mechanism for value realization of ecological products and the services. I think those are the main tasks that you will be doing in the future. And uh, from the government level, um, we, the main function strategy proposed to do some demonstration of studies about the realization of value of uh, ecological products. So four provinces, including Qinghai, Guizhou, and uh, Jiangxi, and Zhejiang, four provinces are chosen as the demonstration of studies. And these three provinces, including uh, Lishui, Fuzhou, and Neisha, three provinces already come here, they will give a, a introduction about their case studies. So I just stopped here, and the, um, the, those two provinces will give their presentation of these case studies. Okay, any questions? If no, I just leave time for these provinces. Okay. <laughs>